Recently, there's been a bit of a stir between a war that's happening between brown widows and black widows, two notorious species found here in my home state of Louisiana. People are saying that the black widows are being killed and eaten by the brown widows, and that they're becoming less and less common. But is that really the case? Today, while out searching for more venomous creatures, I decided that we'd answer this question by finding a big black widow. You're typically gonna see these spiders in more rural areas, more wooded areas, and definitely more shaded areas. But when it comes to natural spaces that you're gonna see this spider, typically very damp, very dark places, so out in the open savannas, not where you're gonna see them. That's why people so commonly see these spiders is because they really love hanging around old barns, houses, and anywhere that's dark permanently. Now, finding a black widow is actually pretty easy. I simply have to find old man-made structures and poke around for a bit. And if they're there, it only takes a little bit of searching before you see that red hourglass and dark outline of the US's most venomous spider. Now what you're seeing right next to me is actually the perfect place to find a black widow. A pile of debris or rubble in a natural setting. Now you might ask, why wouldn't a brown widow be here? And the answer is simple, they haven't gotten here yet. Brown widows are an invasive species believed to have originated in South Africa. So if you think about it, there's not really an urban setting the way they would have naturally gotten here, but there is human debris. Most of the time, brown widows don't actually win the one-on-one -on -one clash because black widows are bigger on average. What they really get them with is their numbers and the fact that they're the ones that kind of go and bother the black widows first, which is really interesting. Now obviously if you are in a natural setting, a very easy way to not get bit by a black widow is to not stick your fingers under things where you can't see. And this is a common practice. If you're rolling things over to look for bugs, roll it from the top or use some kind of handheld tool. Here we go. That right there is a really big black widow. See if I can get her on a stick here. I have handled black widows in the past, but I don't necessarily make a habit out of it unless I'm really proving a point at how non-aggressive they are. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I said I don't make a habit of that. Get off me. Get off me. Ooh. Stop moving. This is a massive, and I mean a massive black widow. In fact, I think the only reason that she even is this size is because she's about to lay an egg sac. Now you can see that her body is a little bit discolored. It's honestly a little bit more of a brownish coloration on the top, and that is due to her having an egg sac inside of her. This is a little bit of a faded coloration from what I would call a typical black widow, but this is a black widow 100%. You can even see some red on the top, and a lot of people would see that brown coloration and see that little bit of red on the top and misidentify the spider and say, oh my goodness, redback spiders are in the United States. Or it's a really big, dark brown widow, but this is in fact a black widow spider. I've seen enough of them to know, and they are pretty distinct. Those arms and that head are solid black, and when you look at that abdomen, there is no denying that that is a bright red hourglass. As far as drop for drop venom goes, these guys are just as potent as a rattlesnake. But when I say drop for drop, well, these guys don't really have a drop of venom in them. That may be weird to say, but they don't even have a drop. I mean, you have to look at the head of this spider. They are so small. They are astronomically tiny compared to the other medically significant spider species, such as wandering spiders or even funnel web spiders. These guys are micro. In fact, I'd say one of the very few spiders that would have less than them would be brown widows, red widows, maybe brown recluses. Although don't quote me on that. They are a very similar size. Now a big question that everybody's asking is, is the black widow going to go extinct? Are they going to get pushed out by brown widows? This has actually been a question that's been reoccurring for a good bit now. And the reason that is, is because a paper recently dropped talking about brown widows showing aggression towards black widows and pushing them out of areas. And while this is partially true, it's only true in certain areas. And what I mean by that is brown widows are overpopulating an area. If they are just absolutely taking over a little neighborhood or a barn or something like that, the black widows will be pushed out of it just due to their resources being taken and the brown widows are kind of bullies however in a one-on-one -on -one fight I know the study said that brown widows will absolutely go and kill a black widow I have seen otherwise I have seen black widows kill brown widows don't ask me why I've seen that I just have so the question of are these spiders going to be around for many more years to come the answer is yes in fact there's almost nothing threatening them across their ranges obviously there's going to be populations that are in decline there's going to be certain ones that just get wiped off the face of the earth but these are a very common spider if you go to rural areas rural america pastures places like that these are a very common species i know many places that you can just see these guys a dime a dozen while this isn't one of those areas and i have to actually really work to find them out here 
black widows are very numerous in the places that they're found. And even in places that they aren't found, they might actually be in a lot of those areas because people don't necessarily know how to look for these spiders and they're not purposefully setting things out for them. Maybe there's not the right conditions, maybe they're just not running into them, but they are quite common. Now you might ask, well Zach, which is worse to get bit by a brown widow or a black widow? And I would most definitely say a black widow. I have never taken a bite from these spiders. I don't take bites from anything that's medically significant. And I handle them with care. I know it seems sometimes, oh, he's just carelessly picking them up. He's putting his fingers by them. You know, I've even held them in the past. And that's not necessarily true. I've only done that very specifically to showcase how non-aggressive these spiders are. Look at this. I can touch this spider. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna try to throw a web on me, actually, which is a very interesting thing that black widows do. However, this isn't something you should go and try. This is something that I'm a professional at. This is something that I very much so understand. There's a very couple of species that I really do understand. Widow species, recluses, rattlesnakes. And it's because I've gotten a few years. I mean, y'all have gotten to see this channel grow over the course of five and a half years. And just over the course of that time, I've gotten a lot more experience. And I'm not saying I would go to another country and pick up a Brazilian wandering spider. That's not my expertise, I don't know anything about them, and I wouldn't know how to mess with them. But this is a spider that I'm very familiar with, and I'm very comfortable knowing what it's gonna do and what it's capable of doing, as opposed to some people who think he's gonna fly out and just attack my face, or those who are just like, no, it could never bite. These spiders do have a chance to bite you, and they can bite you. But I'm very familiar with black widows and brown widows, and I can safely say, we're not going to be losing the black widows in the United States anytime soon to the brown widows. Although we might be seeing a few more brown widows in our city and more suburban areas, black widows are here to stay. They are definitely not going extinct anytime soon, especially these southerns, which seem to be everywhere here down in the south. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing and check out the time we found the very elusive red widow over in South Florida. Actually an incredibly rare species, that one. And we will see you guys next time. All right, time to put this girl back under a concrete.